We're sorry about Burgos. Um, lovely place, but it's too busy, too crowded, too much going on for our liking. So we just found somewhere that looked pretty close enough and this is where we've landed. Just a huge bit. Yeah, so we're actually in the city of Burgos. Um, we parked in the, the free air overnight, which happens to be a 45 minute walk to the center of the city in what apparently, according to the thing, was 29 degrees heat, not the nicest. No. So far, the town or the city's been very modern. Yeah. With a lot of high rise buildings. However, here, all of a sudden, everything has changed. Yeah. This is lovely. This is this is this is what we were hoping to see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. That is the main gate. Yeah. That's somewhat impressive. And a gorgeous oh. bridge. To oh, yeah, I didn't even notice the bridge. Someone's playing a trumpet. On the bridge over the back there, I can see him. Yeah. Oh, this is quite glorious, actually. Yeah. We could have actually got into the old part of the city further down that way and it only take yeah. us half hour to get to the edge and go in there, but you can't enter the city without oh, entering God, no. through that door there. No. That's the only way. Right, gonna be honest about another thing as well. Hot. It's also very late in the day. We yeah. are very it's late. five to one already. Five to one. So it's actually food time. and. To be honest with you, we've only been, there's only been two things that we've been told to do here. Not okay. this, believe it or not, no. but come and see the cathedral, which we'll go and see maybe in a second, but also get tapas in the old town. So, that might have to cathedral, be tapas in the old town, or tapas cathedral. It's tough. Tough call. My goodness. So, if you've been following our channel, you know we've seen some incredible religious buildings. Oh, that is something really, really special. So we've got the choice. Cathedral, food, cathedral, food, decision made. We're too hungry. I am so tempted to go in there anyway, but I don't, I don't think it's wise to go touring around that while we're really struggling for food. One extra thought. One extra thought? What's that? We need to check the times that it's open beforehand, because that oh. might change our decision. Yeah, good point well made. Well, that answers that question. That's open 9.30 to 6.30, so uh, yeah, food. food first. Yeah. Although we did see, it says 10 euros entry, which, I think it's sunny in a big city like that, like this and that size, is reasonable enough. Yeah. However, it did also turn me in and say that we've read 11 euros, we think, to give you a wristband where you can get into a museum and something else as well. Yeah, another church. We'll work that out later. Let's go and. Uh, sorry, I'm looking around like an idiot. I just realised yeah. the reason being is there's just too, too much. much to look at. Yeah. Food first, Food. then focus on. Sightseeing. Yeah. Tapas. Tapas that, that way. way. There is so much life here. There is. This this is really busy. But it's nice. It's got a nice feel again to it. Yeah. And we did notice yesterday that everybody we saw, well most people we saw. Nine out of I ten. I know what you're about to say. Nine out of ten were smiling. Yeah, most people around here seem very happy. There was a couple that That weren't. That weren't. But we are looking for a specific tapas bar, aren't we? There. Oh, this one? Apparently. Tapas and wine. That's thrown me. So we went into that restaurant and said, so are you the best tapas bar in, in Burgos? And she went, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never experienced that before. And so yeah. there was another one recommended. Yeah, this one. Go on, I had in. Okay. Menu. You want to go with here? 
should we be worried that there's no prices? Potentially, but it does have more pinchos and tapas as we would see yeah. it. Okay. Shall we? Hello. Oh, I like it in there. Can we sit inside? If you want. This is quite cool. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. This is really pretty. This restaurant is lovely. Yeah. Um, we have ordered a collection of Spanish, straight, local tapas rations. Yeah. Going to be interesting. This is either going to be really good value for money if it turns up as good portions, or the worst value for money ever if it turns up as <laughs> tiny portions. We'll see. These look really good. Normally it's just stuff. Oh, hold well on, there's more. Oh, okay, bye, bye. And ribs Pork rib. with some potatoes. Which one are you trying first? Well, I've just tried a little bit of that, which is scrambled egg, the mochia, which yeah. is like the black pudding sausage, uh, goat cheese, and apple. I don't know why I say here yeah, because I actually ordered and knew what I was ordering. Yeah, that's kind of what I did. I just tried a little bit from the side. Oh, that's really good. Mm. I, I actually going to put it down as good value for money because that's a sizable ration, sizable portion. So that's the the temper uh, vegetables. The sweet chili sweet and chili soy. And soy. You know, traditional Spanish Chinese style food. And last but not least, pork with, I don't know, kind of a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, Chimichurri, chimichurri sauce, sauce and potatoes. Save the best to last, we hope. Looks like it. Mm. Well, uh, that's got somewhat busier since. Yeah, to be fair, I am gonna say the whole place seems to have suddenly got a lot busier. Yeah. It seems to be pe oh my word. It's it's now kind of Spanish lunchtime, isn't it? Yeah, well hopefully that means if the we go back to the cathedral. Empty. Yeah. Fingers crossed. This is crazy. That's obviously quite busy as well. That's the one that said they were closed earlier. Well, looking at the queue at that one, that's obviously the place to be, isn't it? So, uh, well, yeah. there was a lady that just came out with a face like a slapped ass, so she obviously didn't get the answer she wanted. <laughs> no, uh, you shall turn. not pass. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Preto, Puerta la Manzana, Parrilla, Vaciones y Producto de Burgos, typical. Okay, vale. Muy rico. Yeah. This is very good. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't have the heart to tell we'd already just eaten. <laughs> boy, oh boy, has it got warm all of a sudden. Yes. And two, the crowds of people. None of them here, they're all kind of over there. We, we've been to some of the big cities out there. Um, I think we've only done Valencia as one of the big cities we've done videos on. And they're busy, but not like that. Yeah. That's crazy. That's insane. And everybody's kind of flocking to the shade. Yeah. Have you noticed? To be fair, I don't blame them. Let's yeah. go in the cathedral. Let's go in the cathedral and get some shade, yeah. Get one of them. So, uh, paid the 10 euros, which, like I said, for something this size in a city like this doesn't seem too bad. I know it's a lot more expensive than that. Do you know what makes me laugh? Have you seen all the kids? Sitting in the shade. Sitting in the shade, yeah. It's quite funny. So we'll, we'll go in and, uh, Hopefully, we'll talk about the camera in a second. Hey. <laughs> cool, blimey. Wow, it's cold. Oh, that's cold. But the reason we were saying about uh, hopefully in the camera, if you watched last week's uh, video, we mentioned the fact we're picking up a little, uh, little parcel up from DJI. DJI. Here it is. A little parcel up from DJI. Yeah. The reason we've made the swap is quite simple. I've got to bore you with the details. If you want to know how we get on with these, just get in contact with us. We'll tell you. We're not a review channel of any sort. But the reason we went for this is the, the GoPros. We were tired of moaning about the amount of footage we were losing, we weren't able to use because the GoPro just seems to lose all sense of reality as soon as you get in somewhere like this. We've been told this one's going to be good. Mm. 
We'll find out now. This place is insane. Mm -hmm. It's as busy on the inside as it is on the outside. There is so much stuff. Yeah, and I'm busy when you mean that not just people, you mean no, the, no, the no, ornateness, in, the decorations. Yeah, the, the decorations. I mean, there are so many. I looked up and I thought, oh, okay, nice medieval arches, you know, just calm, like the ones we've seen that we really liked. And then you kind of like, nope, N nope. <laughs> so much stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> oh. Look at the one in there. Oh. Look at the little dome at the top. Oh, that's incredible. Normally, when we come into these places, these golden altar, altars, altars, altars. What am I trying to say? It's like an altar thing. Piece. Yeah, it's roped off. It's got a back. You can actually get right up close and personal with it. And normally, they're behind the altar. Yeah. The fact that this is just in the first tiny little side thing mm. with another tiny little side thing with three more makes you think what on earth is behind the actual altar. I think Alison's just fallen in love with a set of stairs. Oh my days. <laughs> That's a bit special. to use this footage of you swearing like <laughs> bleep out on radio. I'm sorry. You're just gonna that. have to bleep that out. That's got to be two and a half stories tall, if not more, maybe three stories tall, and as wide as our house was. Mm-hmm. I'm that sorry. Is obscene. I just turned around and I just looked at the camera and then I looked over the camera. Oh, see, you have then some that's, impressive woodwork. <laughs> now that's more my thing. This has got to be one of my favourite rooms or areas I've seen in the church so far. Mm -hmm. I love the wood, the carvings, like the, the details. Lights. Yeah, bulb out, but I like the lights. <laughs> Did you actually notice there's a bulb out? Yeah. Oh yeah, just Two. here. When it comes to churches, that's going to be really hard to beat. Mm. That space. That's amazing. I mean, it's not like the rest of this place is exactly unattractive. Oh, it's really ugly. Really horrid. I Awful. Just, I, I like wood. I like wooden things. See, you laugh. See, my sister laughed at our very first video, because when we went to pick up the firewood, I said it was good wood, and I meant it was good wood for fires. It burnt well. You've all just got smutty minds. So, bedroom, lounge. Oh, bathroom. Bathroom. I think they'll have this one as a bathroom. This is ridiculous. This is the most ornate. This is this. This has got to be the king and queen's chapel or something, hasn't it? I don't know. It's got a very regal feel to it. Yeah, it has. <laughs> oh. I thought that was it. I thought this was the exit. No, apparently this would be the cloisters. Oh, look, there's a window open. Does this there's mean we can see window, the courtyard? That's one hell of a stained glass window. <gasps> oh, look at the courtyard. This is 
something going on? I don't know, but I can hear monastic singing. Monastic singing? Churchy singing? Look at the, Look at the rugs. tapestries. Tapestries, sorry. Tapestries, darling, not rugs. Why can I hear? Oh. Oh, it's on there. <laughs> it's on the TV. <laughs> Uh, oh. I could go across to the outside world. Oh. And, um, oh, that's so much nicer. Oh, that's warm. Oh, look at it. Fabulous. This place is incredible. Is when we asked around as to what to do here, we were basically just told Cathedral Davas. Yeah. So we didn't come into this city thinking we needed a lot of time. And it's now the half past four already. We're running out of time. We need to go back and sort out the animals. But we've used up our allotted time by tomorrow morning in the air. Apparently so. Yeah. This is more like it. Yeah. We've moved from Burgos and we're now in a place called Villa Diego. I like this mm. and I love Carlos. Carlos. I'm good. I, I'm going to show you that. That gentleman walking away there because he was embarrassed I think to be on the video. Um, he, his name's Carlos and he lives in the house just here on the corner. It's a beautiful garden. And the first thing he did when he saw us turn up to start clearing up the sticks and he's bought us a little like a welcome pack of things to see yeah it did the english oh carlos, carlos. <laughs> like like you have like carlos obviously thinks we don't have enough information <laughs> so he's bought us this pack which has got what in kind of a map a map and village something else about arms of the village yeah. Of interpretation. Of and now like just de Santiago. bought us a, an entire bootleg of the book, book, booklet. Get our teeth in again. Booklet of the entire region. And this, this is just cute because he that? said he can't remember any English. He had took two courses at school and then didn't use it. Yeah. And he says, but this is in English. And it says, my name is Carlos. Welcome to Villa Diego. Thank you for your visit. This information is for you. So I think with that type of welcome, we've got to have a look around this village tomorrow. Oh God, yes. It totally. looks amazing. Yeah, this was just purely, we're sorry about Burgos. Um, lovely place, but it's too busy, too crowded, too much going on for our liking. So we just found somewhere that looked pretty close enough and this is where we've landed. Is However, the one downside we are trying to rectify, uh, thanks to Carlos, who's over this way again, these trees are shedding all kinds of seeds and stuff and Pollen. yeah he said if we move up here we'll get away from those, those yep yeah. so yeah um like i said burgos not for us and i think we've kind of we've had a bit of a conversation and said we love these things and we want to come back and give it another shot but when we're Big cities are not our favourite place, that's for sure. No. I think that's why we've all become a bit more synonymous with the smaller villages and stuff, isn't it? Mm. So tomorrow we'll be doing another small village. Good morning. Um, we're still in the, uh, the village, Villa Diego. Mm -hmm. We actually moved the van from the other end to stop all the seeds coming in. We've got two boys with us today. I think the village is small enough to take Seb. There seems to be shopping centre here. I do like this little square though. So you've got a really old little square. You've got Carnitharia there, a fish shop there, supermarket 
there. This is definitely shopping square anyway. Yeah, it's the main square. Yeah. But look at that amazing the overhanging piggledy piggledy overhanging thing. Tudor thing. It almost looks like it's falling down, doesn't it? It does, it's fabulous. Yeah. Ah, this looks uh, a lot busier down here. Hola, buenas. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. It's Carlos. Buenos dias, Carlos. Good morning, Carlos. Buenos dias. I should have been with you. Yes. Okay. Tu hablas aquí? Y lo grabas ahí. Ah, sí. Se me olvidó deciros que había mercado semanal. Sí, es comer aquí, bien. Sí, no, mercado para comprar cosas. Ah. Luego, luego sí, hay, hay, hay te hacen pizzas enfrente, aquí también te hacen cosas. Sí. Eh, Muy luego, bien. si quieres comer más, en el, 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 los restaurantes del Ronio, la cueva. Esos son ah. los restaurantes. Ok, vale, vale. Sí. Ok. Muy bien. Perfecto. Perfecto. Luego. I'll say this quietly. Did you hear what he said? Basically, go and eat over at uh, Bar La Cueva. Yeah? I did, yeah. Restaurante La Cueva. Yeah. Come on. Which we believe is over the other side of the village, not here. It's so unusual, like nothing I've seen before. Definitely in Spain, anyway. With all of these buildings overhanging like this, but they're not. How do I explain this? It's not just overhanging a little bit, it's like double overhang. Yeah. Can I just say. You, you can. Not loving the modernization. They've tried. But I'm not loving that. No. No. Are we making friends again? Yeah. The liver and white dog wanted to play with Bart and was oh, doing the little, the, the little puppy over there. Yeah, doing the <laughs> down on his horses. Adios. I I I I like this. It's really lively. It's got and a lovely feeling to it. Yeah, the other thing I think is really great that's really got me smiling is Everyone, again, is so friendly. Yeah, and look at the things that they've got to put bedding plants in to make the place beautiful. I mean, they look like paella dishes. Maybe. Almost. No, they're too deep, but... <laughs> they've got lots of plants of food. Yeah. Instead of just the stalls where you go, I've grown it for you, you eat it. Yeah, Here's the like plug here. plants, grow your own. Yeah. We, we're back in our village, you just get fruit and veg shops, don't you? Whereas, yeah, yeah. They're where they've grown it for you and you just get to eat it. That feels really old school. Stuff yeah, the bags. Sex. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. It's lovely. That. And I'm, I'm going to kind of twist the camera around in a second, but it's nice. They're just groups of people just sitting around. Yeah. Hanging around hanging in out. this square. Just chewing the fat. Yeah. Setting the walls to rights. Lovely. That's cool. We are getting nowhere fast here. No. Everyone keeps stopping to say hello to the dogs and to us and chatting. And we just bumped into Carlos's wife who kind of went, hi, oh, you're the ones from the auto caravan. Oh, this is <laughs> phenomenal. I am loving this place. It's got a very, very much a vibe of Petraeus. Uh, yeah. When we first went there, when we kept hearing that we were Ah, that's Maruja's neighbours. Yes. Yeah. Everybody knew who we were before we got there. I like this. It's nice. But we still haven't found food. No, we haven't. And I think well, we're we walking have. in polar opposite to what? But we have, but not ready to eat. Oh, I mean, you mean we could we, grow, we, we, we could could grow our own salad. Our own. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think we've got to go that way though. We're walking in the dead opposite direction of the restaurant. Yeah, I think and bars. so. It seems like the entire village has descended from the market into this restaurant so uh, let's go in and have a look oh, yeah. we can go up here that's this good. is busy come on party yeah, this, is, this has got very busy all of a sudden in this corner, it's full of life clearly this is definitely the place to come for food yes indeed well it's a menu of the day then we haven't got a clue what it's going to cost, but it looks really nice. It does look really nice. Yeah. The fact that There's a lot of people in here. 
because I just took the camera through to the other side. Through there is a massive restaurant. Is it? Yeah. There's got to be 40 tables in there. Gosh. Yeah. This is Alison's starter, by the way, has turned up. <laughs> now, I'm going to say one thing about this. We don't know how much this is going to cost. That looks like a huge starter. That looks like a main course in most places. Yeah. I have a feeling I'm going to be very full after if this, this. If this turns out to be a cheap menu of the day, I'm going to be blown away even further. We said we weren't going to film anymore. But all the food is now turning up and we've not even finished the pasta thing yet. I, I just plumped for these, which are peppers stuffed with meat. Yours looks that's chicken and chicken cheese. Chicken breast with cheese sauce. And then some chips and we've we've got an entire banquet here, I dread to think. We're not gonna yeah. want dessert, are we? No. Or tea. And, 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 and bread. Lots of bread. We shouldn't have maybe shouldn't eaten have two slices bread. of that to start <laughs> with. Oh my word. Mm. I'm stuffed. I am. Um, yeah, I don't think we've eaten that much food in a very long time. No. Now what we've got to do is pay the bill. We're looking quite pleased, so it's obviously quite um, 16 euros. 16 euros. Including For all of that food, the drinks, the bread, the extra chips. I'm amazed. Because normally, refrescos as they call them aren't included. Yeah. And, and we could have added uh, a dessert and coffee on top of it. That's ridiculous. Good boy, here you come. Oh. My. <laughs> word. <laughs> I can't stress just how good that was. The that was food yummy. was incredible. The value for money. No wonder, we were shop the, the lady or the wife of the owner, I'm not sure exactly the, the connection. We didn't really ask to be honest with you, but she was explaining lots of things. Lots of famous people go there to eat as well. Like yeah. there's a famous artist and he's done a couple of pieces in there. Julio Iglesias. Eats there. And who else was the other one? Benicio del Toro. Yeah. The he... director. Famous, famous film director and actor. I. They've got good taste. They really that have. That was phenomenal. Come Anyhow, on. right. Enough of us sharing off about our lovely food we've just had for peanuts. Mm -hmm. um, we're now going to head back to Percy and go and slip slowly into a food <laughs> coma. <laughs> yeah. um, being blunt, do you know what? We'll see you tomorrow morning. Yes, indeed. Good morning. After a lovely couple of days, yeah. unfortunately, it's time to move on. It's so peaceful for sleeping oh, here. It's, it's lovely. It's been lovely. Really enjoyed here. However, we now need to continue our journey north. So uh, we've got Percy flight ready. She's uh, been emptied. And oh, <laughs> perfect timing. Carlos. Senor. Gracias. Perfecto. Perfecto. In short, the translation of that is he's going to go and get them some little dog biscuits. Oh, big specials. Oh. <laughs> Carlos. Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto. Eh? Gracias. <sighs> We've uh, made it to a place called Orbineja del Castillo. So basically we, we've come off the plain of Burgos and it just suddenly drops off, doesn't it, into these, th th these valleys. Mm. But as we come around the corner towards this village, we just saw these and that's phenomenal. They are incredible. Is there actually a castle here? I don't know. I can't remember. It's a long while since I put this one on the list. Yeah, I mean, it was just a photo you saw, wasn't it? And of the waterfall, yeah. Yeah, and we stuffed it on the list and... 
as we knew we were going by, decided we were going to pop in here. I still can't get over the landscape though. <laughs> it's really lovely. Yeah, it's so, so different. It's so unusual to anything we've seen so far. Mm. Oh, so we can okay, explain. We got a very quick sneak preview of this and the reason Alison suddenly vanished off <laughs> behind the hood is it started to drizzle all of a sudden. But we got a sneak preview of this as we drove up the road. You probably got a better preview because I, I was busy concentrating on the the cars and everybody trying to crash into us. But this is exceptional. Oh, that is phenomenal. I love it. That's got to be one of the best views we've seen so far. Yeah, and then it That's goes incredible. under the river, under the road, and out into this. Look. Into these little pools here. And look at the colour of them. Well. <laughs> That's a pretty spectacular way into the village. Isn't it? Because, uh, yeah, we, we come off the road and look around here quickly, and now we've got to follow these stairs all the way up into the main part of the village. Top of the stairs, and, oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Yep. The village so, that just keeps giving. Yeah, it, it is channeled in some way. Yeah. But kind of just trucked over the edge there. Look at the old mill buckets. Oh yeah. To get their water. Okay. So the, the, the river literally runs through the centre of the village then? Yeah. I presume we've already made it into the uh, centre of the village. I mean, <laughs> centre of the village? It's not exactly big, is it? Probably one of the tiniest villages we've been to. But that's where we were just looking that's where we from were. that corner over there. It goes under this bridge and up there. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I know it's just an ugly concrete block thing, but I quite like the bridge running over it, the footpath. Yeah. Have you seen these? These houses are all kind of built on the rock going yeah, up the hill. Yeah, I love that. And the water obviously comes out from underneath there as well at some times. Ah, yeah, just here. I was looking at this though. That looks like that's slowly <laughs> crumbling. Yeah. And somebody's house is sat on top of it. Now, one of the things we did read about, wasn't it? A lot of people were complaining about the amount of cars parked in the centre of this village. Yes. I get it. It takes the edge off it, but we all have to remember one very simple thing. People have to live here. Yeah, this is people's homes. Because it's very pretty and very touristy and yeah. nice to come and see. Although that's an Look Austin cars. Powers. What is she Backwards up and to? forwards, turning around. She, she, she's got herself in a bit of a two and eight. Bless Austin her. Powers, 48,000 point turn. Yeah, hopefully, I, yeah. Could be worse. She could have reversed into the river. Could be. Come on, let's go up the hill. Yeah, what was we saying? Cars, thing, remember, blah. Do the thing, laugh. And a castle. Yeah, apparently this village does have a castle. Doesn't seem the biggest thing in the world. Another. No, but it's bloody lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, that's the village. I enjoyed that. Yeah, it wasn't the biggest place in the world, that's for sure. Um, but what an incredible location. Mm. Stunningly beautiful village in a Gorgeous location. I love them rocks. Mm -hmm. They look nicer when it's not drizzling. Yeah. We promise. Hopefully by next weekend, when we'll actually be in this storage region. I think we said that two weeks ago at the end of one of the videos. I'm we went, not sure. And we'll see you next week in the storage. I'm sorry I lied. We got sidetracked. Should be, should be next weekend in Astorius. Maybe. We'll see you then. Take care. Bye.
Bye. Bye.